Hello, my name is Oscar Munoz. I am a Clear Compliance Project Intern for the Title IX Office. In this presentation, I will share with you what a Camp Security Authority is and how to properly document a crime report and report it to a designated location. By the end of this presentation, you will be a successful Camp Security Authority. I will begin by sharing the Clery Act history and how it began. I will then describe what a Camp Security Authority is and then I will explain who is a Camp Security Authority and why we chose to identify those individuals. Clary Act became an awareness after the incident of Jean Ann Clary. She was raped and murdered in her residence hall at Lehigh University. The perpetrator was a student she did not know. Her parents were not aware of all the previous incidents that occurred at Lehigh University. Jean's parents made her death a huge awareness, which then created the Clary Act, an act that is a consumer protection law that aims to provide transparency around campus crime policy and statistics. A campus security authority is an official, a person who has authority and the duty to take action and respond to particular issues on behalf of the institution. We identified you as a campus security authority because you have the responsibilities that requires monitoring students and staff. You are a trusted person and are required to report any crime incident that occurs on campus and non-campus boundary. Your role is that you are in a place where someone may come to you and ask for your support. The individuals we identified as a campus security authority was a process that went through the Clary Compliance Team. The team came together, cooperated, and identified the campus security authorities. Campus Security Authority are the identified staff members who have responsibilities for reporting crimes. They are individuals who monitor and are responsible for student and staff events. Here are prime and basic examples of the individuals who are Campus Security Authorities. Notice, these people have student and staff responsibilities. So if there is a crime incident, these are the people who may be there to respond to and support the victim. These are examples of those who are not camp security authorities, but still responsible employees. These employees are not responsible to monitor students or school events. However, there are individuals who are not obligated to report crime incidents. At EOU, we do not have a pastoral counselor, but the institution does offer professional counselor and a privileged campus advocate. These individuals are not required to report crimes. A campus security authority role is to report any crime incident that occurs on campus. After the report has been documented, your role as a campus security authority is to send the report to the Title IX coordinator and clear compliance officer. If you are not sure if the incident is a crime, report it anyway and let the Title IX coordinator determine the outcome. At EOU, Colleen Dunn Cascio is a clear compliance officer. This is her contact information and she is located in Inlow. Crimes are only reported if the victim directly reported to a campus security authority. If the victim brings an incident to your attention and shares the concerns, document the crime and report to the designated officer. However, campus security authorities should not document a crime report if the campus security authority overhears it in the hallway or a classmate mentions a crime during a class discussion, speech, do not report if you learn of the crime in an indirect manner. Why must all crime information be reported? All federal funded institutions are obligated from the Clary Act to keep and send out crime statistics from over the years. Daily crime log is a log of every crime that has been reported to the university. We are required to provide the crime log to any individual that asks for it at any time. Now, a timely warning, if there is an ongoing threat to campus that could harm community members, then a timely warning notification is issued. 
and an emergency notification is a warning for the campus community. For example, if there has been a gas leak in a building or a chemical spill in the science facility, we would notify the campus. Support for victims of sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking. We want to make sure reporting individuals have information about additional rights for both students and employees. We are also required to provide rights and options in writing, including information regarding procedures to follow, existing on and off campus services, options for assistance in changing academic, living, transportation, and working situation. In your folder, you will find a trifold resources handout. This resource has all the required information. In your folder, there is a Clary Crime Definitions handout. The handout displays the definitions of Clary reportable crimes. They are murder, non-negligent manslaughter, negligent manslaughter, sex offenses, rape, fondling, incest, statutory rape, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, motor vehicle theft, and arson. Hate crimes can be interpreted in a few ways. On the report form, it displays eight possible ways to classify an incident as a hate crime. It is on the second page towards the bottom. If the campus security authority is uncertain, the campus security authority still has to file the report and detail the incident and the Title IX coordinator will determine the crime. Some additional crimes that need to be reported are under arrest and referrals. We report liquor law violations, drug law violations, and weapon law violations. We also report on the Violence Against Women Act crimes of dating violence, domestic violence, and stalking. In the back of the Clery Crime Definitions handout, it displays the definitions of the Clery Geography within one mile of campus. On campus, report any crime that occurs within our campus boundaries. Non-campus is an area that the institution leases or it is owned and it is not attached to the primary campus. Public property are the public roads that surround campus. It goes from the sidewalk, road, and opposite side to the curb that is attached to the campus property. Here is the specific information that a campus security authority should report. Begin with the date and time of the incident. Ensure the date is correct and if it is possible, have an accurate time. Then, detail the description of the crime. Attempt to have a step-by-step -step description. Include any additional information that the reporting party has shared. Remember, campus security authority are not responsible to persuade the victims and perpetrators to determine responsibility. Do mention to the victim or perpetrators that there is a link on the Title IX webpage stating the rights and options of sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking. You can find the webpage address of the trifold handout that we already discussed. When communicating with a victim or perpetrator, listen to what they say and show concern for what that individual is going through. Next, inform the individual what you are going to do with the report. That you will send the report to the Title IX officer and Title IX will reach out to the individual. Then refer the individual to campus security, Title IX coordinator, or privilege advocate. Last, thank the individual for their cooperation. People can be hesitant and afraid to share particular information. Once you are done documenting the report from the individual, immediately send the crime incident to the Title IX officer. A student mentions to her boyfriend that a number of rooms in her residence hall floor were broken into during the previous night's basketball game. She states that she does not know if the perpetrators are from her institution or members of another institution. Later that day, her boyfriend tells his soccer coach the story. What is required of the soccer coach? I will give you 30 seconds to think about this.
Okay, the soccer coach should document and report it to the Title IX because it is on-campus incident. It is a burglary. If you are unsure, report it anyway. If you have any questions, contact Colleen Dunn Cashville.